Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Olivia and we are going to be tidying and restocking the fridge today. This is going to be quite the task because the fridge has not had a really good deep clean in a while. I want to share with you how I'm actually going to clean the fridge and share a few tips and tricks on how I store certain foods to help them last a little bit longer. So I actually just got back from the grocery store as you could see. So we're going to do a super speedy quick grocery haul just so you can see some of the items that we're going to be restocking with and then we will get to the cleaning and tidying. All right, let's jump into it. All right, getting started. Started, we did buy some stuff for Freddie. He got some new food and some little waste bags. And we also got some meat, but I went ahead and put that in the freezer. So we got some hamburger meat and some mahi. We picked up some eggs, some rice noodles. I got two things of coconut milk. I'm gonna be trying out a new recipe this week. We have, we have some black beans, some olives, corn, Sweet potatoes, bell peppers, a cucumber, we've got some spinach, asparagus, carrots, bananas. We've got a lot of healthy things. We love to see that. Then I also picked up some orzo for another recipe that I'm going to be trying. We got some hamburger buns, some Dave's Killer Bread, blueberry muffins. Those are so stinking good. Then over here, I picked up some more of my favorite snacks, which are the Siete cinnamon chips, the churro strips. These are so fantastic, such a good snack. We picked up some pepper jack cheese, some strawberry cream cheese spread. We got some ginger paste, curry paste. I picked up some feta cheese, vegetable broth, coconut oil. Again, for a recipe that I'm going to make, I got some agave and chipotle sauce. I've never had this before. I was trying to find like a healthy option, but I, I couldn't really find one. So we just ended up with this one. So I hope it's good. I picked up a kombucha to kind of sip on as we're cleaning. I got the cranberry apple. So I'm hoping that that one's really good. This used to be one of my favorite dressings that I would share all the time. It's the Annie's goddess dressing and it is really good. And then over here, we got Freddie some new peanut butter because he's almost out. I picked up some coconut sugar, and last but not least, I picked up some of these Lily's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These were fairly expensive, but I've heard really good things about them and just wanted to try them. So I did pick these up to see if they are worth the hype. Before we start cleaning out the refrigerator, I'm going to clean my veggies. To do this, I'm using a tip I got from GoCleanCo. We are going to soak our veggies in water and a glug of vinegar. We will leave the veggies to soak as we clean. All right, now it's time to get started with the cleaning. We are going to basically be following the Go Clean Co method for this whole process. I'll link her Instagram down below so you can check out her page if you would like. To start, we are going to completely empty the fridge out. Don't forget to check all products to make sure they are not expired and throw out any gross leftovers. Next, we are going to grab the vacuum cleaner and use it to pick up small bits of food, dust, and dirt before we disinfect the inside. Now it's time to kill all those germs and nasty bacteria living inside the fridge. I'm going to mix one teaspoon of Tide powdered laundry detergent and a splash of bleach into my bucket that has hot water. I only use this recipe when the fridge is completely empty and hasn't been disinfected in a while. Lining your drawers with paper towels is a great way to catch food and makes cleaning a little bit easier. All right, now that the inside has been disinfected and had time to air out and dry, we can put all of our food back into the refrigerator. It looks so much better. Now it's time to take these veggies that I've been soaking and get them all ready to go for the week. I love to pre-wash and pre-cut all fruits and veggies before putting them in the fridge so that we are more likely to grab for them throughout the week.
I like to use a damp paper towel to put in the bottom of my glass jars to help my fruits and veggies stay fresh and crisp. Ah, oh, it feels so much better to have a fridge that is just nice and clean and ready to go for the next week. To be honest with you, deep cleaning the fridge does not happen as often as I'd like. This probably happens every other month, if even that. The last thing we are going to do is clean and shine up the outside. I'm using the Wyman's stainless steel wipes here. We have been using these for about two years now and they work amazing every time. As you are using the wipe, go with the grain of your fridge. It looks streaky at first, but give it time so that all that goodness can soak in. Afterwards, I like to go back with a microfiber cloth and buff everything out one last time. And boom, look how shiny it is. All right, friends, we once again have a tidy and completely stocked fridge, so that always makes me super happy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.